What's up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Yay! Year! What the freaking heck? Literally 2020? I feel like in this year so many things are going to be happening. I'm going to graduate college and like that's just a life milestone within itself. So like Wow, I'm a little scared and nervous. It's all happening very, very fast. But that's not the topic for today's video. Today, I'm going to be talking about some different board games and card games that are super, super fun that you can bring to college and play with your friends or lack of friends thereof. <laughs> Gathering friends, I know, is hard in college, especially because everyone is so, so, so busy. But these board games that I'm going to talk about, I love playing, I love playing with my family, and some of them are super short, so you can do like a game night with friends and they only need like three people so you just need yourself and two others less hard than when you need like eight people to play a game I'm like I don't even have that many friends so these are great for like chilling in your dorm or doing a game night at your apartment you know drinking some wine chilling on the weekend or you know during the school week to de-stress. So the first game I'm going to be talking about is Monopoly Deal. This one is a card game. It's so, so, so fun. You play with two to five players, so literally you just need yourself and one other person, but I feel like that's less fun. I would play with three people and like it would be perfect timing. You can finish the game in 15 minutes, and I know freaking Monopoly, the normal game, takes years <laughs> I don't even know people that ever finish one of those Monopoly games because they take so long to complete and it's very similar to the normal Monopoly board game and like low-key like Uno or some other kind of card game where you're trying to collect the properties but then other people have cards that'll let them like steal or block from like taking the property so it's a ton of fun it's a really really cool game I would definitely recommend this especially because it's so 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 short you can get your friends to come over play a few rounds of this and it only will take like an hour and then you can go back to doing your homework or something so this definitely would recommend it's short and it's a lot of fun the next game is another card game called unstable unicorns my dad got this off of Amazon over winter break and we've literally played this game maybe like 50 times in the past two weeks we've played this a lot so this is another card game super fun this also involves strategy so I really like these kinds of strategic games where you need to think about your moves in advance think three moves ahead in order to win the game or like get further ahead in the game so this is similar to monopoly deal where you're trying to collect seven unicorns <laughs> sounds really weird but it's a ton of fun and then other people have cards that'll let them steal unicorns or like you can curse people or give yourself upgrades that like lets you do certain special powers and also the little drawings on the card are so freaking cute this is two to eight players and it takes about 30 to 60 minutes it's our games I feel like it always takes an hour maybe so it's in like the medium range for length of time it takes to play the game but I would definitely recommend and like when me and my brother are playing we will literally start screaming at each other because we're trying to curse each other or like trying to trade unicorns and stuff shiz just goes down so if you're into that kind of strategic and also talking strategy kind of games this I would definitely recommend so very similar in terms of strategy games is Munchkin. This game is so much fun. I feel like it's a little bit more luck and a little bit less strategy than the Unstable Unicorns game, but Munchkin also involves strategy. In this game, you're trying to battle monsters and then each monster you kill, you work your level up in the game and then you win after you get to level 10. And so you can start to see a pattern in these games that I'm talking about because this game also, you have your hand of cards but also you can curse other people you can align with other players in the game to fight and defeat monsters you can also hurt other players in the game by doubling the monster score so like instead of having to fight a monster that's 20 points you have to kill it by getting over 40 points which is really really hard to do and then if you can't kill the monster bad things happen to you it's really cool with the strategy kind of like who do you team up with who do you fight who do you stop from winning the game kind of thing my family and I we play this 
a lot. We also have the expansion pack for Munchkin and I've actually played this at school and it's cool to teach your college friends the games that you play at home so this is a ton of fun and so I feel like this takes about an hour as well and you know also the college students nowadays you could make it a drinking game or something like that if that is what you want to do for your Friday night so it would be totally cool. So working our way up in bigger and bigger boxes the next game is Ticket to Ride. This game it's a big board game. It's a map and then you get cards where you have to build train routes from one area of the map to the other but the strategy is like there's only certain routes that you can take and other people might build those routes before you and then you're sort of screwed out of luck because then you cannot build your train there and then you have to waste a bunch of turns going all the way around instead of going the straight direct route. And so that's the fun of it. You could play like single players or in teams and it's sort of fun to like screw your friends over and then block their routes that they're trying to take. Sometimes, you know, you can get into fighting matches with people because you're like, why the heck would you try to screw me over? I'm going to screw you over now and block your trains. I really like this game. It's a little bit longer as well, about an hour to complete. With these games, I think the ones that I talked about today are just so cool because it really transports you into the game and you're like, F you, even though we're best friends in real life, I am not gonna let you build this or get that card. And so it's really, really cool just having to mentally think a few steps ahead. If you're into that, I would definitely recommend buying or looking into any of the games that I talked about today. And please let me know in the comments down below if any of you have any cool board games that you think I would enjoy or other people would enjoy. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful if you purchase any of these games and bring them to school or you can even play with family or friends. Definitely let me know what you think of the games and yeah, this is the first video of 2020 that is freaking wild. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you all next time with a new video.